What's up bosses? In this video, I'm going to show you how to choose your actual brand colors. Whether you're just starting out in business or you have an established business, but your colors really actually don't reflect who you are in your business. What's up bosses? I'm Tarleen Raman Figueroa, your personal brand consultant at Boss Diplomat, making you look so good you can't be ignored. In today's episode, I want to talk about brand colors. Brand colors is one of those things a lot of solopreneurs actually overlook. It's something that they kind of don't think about too seriously. They take the colors directly from the color psychology. If you know me, I absolutely cannot stand that. Let's jump into the how to's really quickly and why brand colors mean so much in your business. Your brand colors are the visual language of your business. They communicate your personality, they communicate your values, and they make a lasting impression on your clients. They also make you memorable. And when you choose colors that actually mean something to you, it has a personal effect on you. It anchors you to something a lot greater than what any sort of color psychology can ever give you. As part of the brand blueprint process, I help my clients rediscover what their brand colors should actually be in their business. It's very likely that I may be changing the colors in your business unless you have a very good reason why you've chosen it. And when that choice is because there's a very personal or sentimental reason to it, I usually let you keep it. But if you're just like, I don't know, I just like the color green. No, that's not a good enough answer because if it doesn't satisfy me and you're just giving me a shrug and saying, I just chose because, what sort of impression are you actually giving your business? When you don't think seriously about the choices that you make in your business, how on earth are your clients gonna take you seriously? Now, I'm not saying that you have to go into a deep tangent about why you chose a specific color this is internal you know why you chose a specific color this is something that you don't have to explain to anyone else but when you know why you've made a specific choice you are so much more confident in the reasoning behind it and you're able to then stand up for it and this is where your colors and your values intertwine your values become a part of your brand strategy and your brand colors because of the insane amount of thought you've put into that specific color. Now, let me show you an example. Here is a quick video of a behind the scenes look on when my client Megan and I were going through her brand colors. She actually did not like the colors that I chose because it was actually the wrong tone of green. Let's have a look at how meticulously we chose her colors based on her brand inspiration. All right, your color palettes. Ooh. I wanted your colors to be as vibrant, as fresh as possible. So I've got they're very similar colors but one is a little bit brighter than the other mm -hmm. and i wanted to use your inspiration to your advantage mm -hmm. so you know where these have come from and they actually mean something to you i think the green is not totally right for okay me, but i like the pink and yellow which one do you prefer like this is palette number one and this is palette number two so if i i think i prefer the second one you prefer the second okay I'm going to get my magical dropper and I'm going to hover around your canvas here and you're going to tell me what is the right green for you. So are you looking darker or lighter? Hang on, let me zoom in a bit. That's a good question. Okay, I'll start on like darker or lighter. I just think it's not exactly like, like, I don't know a lot about color theory, but it's not like the right color theory. <laughs> Ignore the color theory. It's got nothing to do with it. I ignore the color theory like, like, yeah, like it's my worst enemy. So you're not looking at color theory. We're looking okay. at, does this feel right for Megan? And um, then my job is do all of these colors work well together yeah. and give your clients the sense of calm and energy and restoration that they need and deserve. That's what I'm looking at. Forget the color theory. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, okay. So can you see this little box? Yes. Um, yep so if I move it even like a like less than a centimeter the color is going to change right right so mm -hmm. this is why I was asking where do I start because as you can see you can have this green there's a lot of that green so um mm -hmm. if you knew where you, your well, favorite I like to go less pastel and a little bit more rich okay so these are all can you see these are like more olives yeah um go down a bit 
This is gonna sound well, like, do you know like the color of like moss? <laughs> Hold on. Moss. Google it. <laughs> what I was doing. Oh my gosh. I like the slightly more like yellow green. Okay, like perfect. Okay. Oops. 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 Okay, let's try again. So yellow green will be kind of here. And maybe it's not, maybe it's not on the tapestry, you know, maybe it's not. Oh, no, we'll find it. Trust me, we'll find it. It just <laughs> takes a little bit of time and no, not that green. That's, do you know what? Hang on. Was it this, this one that you're looking at or that one? That one. This one? So bright and happy. <laughs> it is bright. So this is, this is what it's looking like right now. Yeah. Yeah, feels good to you. And let me get rid of all of these distractions. So this is why you need a box. Right. Everything's, oops. I'm like covering my hands to cover. <laughs> there you go. No distractions. Mm, can we go a little bit more orange on the yellow? <laughs> I'm so Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Oh, go back up a little. I like that one. Okay, I think we can work with this. So here's your new color palette. Ignore that top one. Yay. Put a hand over it. This is your color palette. That's good. I like it. The reason why, as a personal brand consultant, I do not like my clients referring to the color psychology chart, it's because it's too generic. The whole point of having a personal brand is because it's personal. It's something that matters to you. I don't care if blue is calm red is passionate and exciting and i don't care if purple represents royalty and creativity because if every business owner were to refer back to the color psychology chart and chose their business colors based on these positive attributes then guess what every single one of your competitors are most likely going to be doing the same thing because you're not thinking outside of the box let's look at the corporate world just for a hot minute have you ever noticed that a lot of banks choose the color blue because it represents stability, authority, and trustworthiness. If all of them are blue, they become so unmemorable. And all of a sudden you're thinking blue equals bank. Is it this bank? Is it this bank? Is it this bank? You don't remember. Your, your mind will just kind of put them in a blob. And all of a sudden you don't remember the name. You don't remember their values or what makes them different or what makes them good. Or you're just like, I don't know, blue equals bank. I don't know. Just like, I don't know, green equals money because money is green only in, you know, the US. Okay. Your dollars are green. My money in the UK is not green, but I've had financial advisors say, Hey, if I was to have my own personal brand, I don't know, maybe I'll go for green because that's money. Don't do that. That is just so generic. I'm not turning you into a generic brand. I'm turning you to a premium brand. The way I come up with your brand colors in your business is actually based on your personal brand inspiration. Usually what I get my clients to do is I get them to meditate with me for just a little bit. I get them to close their eyes, get their hands on the side or on their labs, and I get them to breathe with me. So let's both get comfortable. My feet's crossed, so I'm gonna put my feet on the floor. Feet on the ground, hands on your side or on your leg. And let's just take some few deep breaths in and out. And I want you to start thinking about where your mind drifts off to when you're trying to think of things that make you feel okay again. Start to describe to me some of the images that you're seeing, some of the colors that you're seeing in your head. So the first thing that came to mind when you said happy place was the beach. I mm. love, love the beach so much. Mm. Um, and as you continued to guide and prompt me, um, what keeps me rooted I pictured my body first, and then I pictured my yoga mat, because I spent a lot of time laying on my yoga mat and being present with myself. And then I pictured, my yoga mat is pink, by the way. Um, okay, what pink? pink? What pink is that? Huh? What pink? Maybe mm -hmm. take a picture of it for me. Yeah, I can do that. Um, and the other thing I pictured was the grass or moss like a 
nice vibrant green plushy moss or grass the reason why i get my clients to meditate with me during our brand blueprint process is because i want to see what's in your head what are the images that makes you feel safe makes you feel secure makes you feel anchored especially when shit hit the fan i want you to come back to your safe place, a place where you do feel confident and secure. Business is not like this. It's always going to be like this. It's always going to, there's always going to be some sort of weaves and waves and bobs and it's just it's a crazy storm. You're never going to have a linear journey in your business. So having brand colors that makes you remember the reasons why you started this business to begin with and remember your happy place, it will make you feel safe and secure. I'm not saying this is an exact science. It is absolutely not an exact science on how I choose your brand colors. I've actually had clients look at their brand colors and going, oh my God, what has she done? I hate this. Check this video out. Do you have some sort of colors right now in your logo? But I came up with some alternatives based on some inspiration. Oh. Okay. Oh, based off what I envision for my, I do not like those colors though, mm. but I do love that inspiration because that's where I feel happiest, but I, I don't like those colors. Okay. I don't know why. Maybe I need to see them on a website, but I do, I do gravitate more to like the, the pastel colors of the blue greens. They just seem more, um, traditional, cleaner lines. The colors alone are not enough to show off your brand in its entirety. You have to be able to use your colors very strategically. Just because I'm using yellow, doesn't mean I'm gonna like throw yellow all over the place and make you feel sick. You have to use it in small drips and drabs, but it's enough to make your business different enough from your competitors in your industry. Now, Tiffany hated the colors that I put together for her. She really loved the idea of sticking with her original brand colors blues grays the black and whites you know it had a very corporate feel and then i added all of these warm yellows into her brand but check out her reaction when i showed what her brand colors could look like and a new website redesign when i was looking into um, what your website could look like this is only a concept it's not fixed but we again we want to show that you're really professional really strategic could be taken seriously this is what i envisioned I really like this. Blue, I'm telling you, blue is the most overused brand color all industry wide. Yeah, um, I know. Everyone likes it so easy to go to. But I do love this a lot, a lot, a lot. Leading the future of healthcare, about us, services, healthcare, pre which I see it there. Yes. Find success, contact. Oh my God, I love this. Unlock a world of healthcare insights in just five minutes. Subscribe now for witty summaries of the latest healthcare trends and stay informed. I love And that's it. healthcare proceeds right there in the homepage. Yeah, right there in the homepage. I love it. See, your brand colors need to be put into context. Just looking at it from a distance would not give you the right idea. It's not going to capture what your brand could actually do for you. Tiffany's reaction was amazing. She was completely blown away by just how different her brand was looking like because I added new colors that balanced out the corporate colors that she was so desperate to move away from. So there you have it. A quick snapshot on how I help you choose your brand colors for your solopreneur business. If you're thinking, hmm, I still have no idea how to choose my brand colors, why don't you book a free mini brand session with me? The link is in the video somewhere here get on my diary let's talk let's talk about colors i'm really passionate about your colors guys because let me tell you one thing a digital marketer or a web designer or your social media guru will not care about the colors you choose in your business but as your personal brand consultant i am all over that hit me up and i cannot wait to see you on my calendar